I'm here to discuss arc welding and the topic today is tacking material together to be welded. Now very often pieces, different pieces of metal need to be welded together. They need to be held together while they're being welded. And what we welders do in that case is for instance I've got a little T-joint here that I've tacked up. Now I want to weld this solid. If I start welding on one side or the other, it's very likely that it, the thing will warp and be crooked when I'm done. So to prevent that from happening, I take my, in this case, my MIG welding machine, I put a couple of tacks on here, just little drops of metal on the joint to hold it together. This isn't very strong and it's not meant to be. Then I square it up with a square. I take a hammer and I tap it until it's in the right uh, position. These tacks are, have a little bit of flexibility in them. Then on the opposite side from the tacks, I'll run a complete bead of weld. The tacks will prevent it from pulling over and warping in that direction because of metal shrinkage. As the metal cools off, it tends to, sh to shrink towards the side that was welded first. So the tacks will hold it square and true. I put a weld on this side and then turn around and finish welding over top of the tacks on this side. That's basically what tack welding is used for, is to hold the alignment on pieces of metal until they're done, you're done with the welding. And that's basically all there is to tacking. Tack one side, weld the opposite side first, then come back and weld over top of your tacks. 